you know, I want to make this amount of money. I looked and I was like, okay, I have to solve these problems. Like I have to solve these problems so that I'm worth that money right there. So I started like thinking about how to be efficient with tools, how to be efficient with everything that I do, how to walk a little bit quicker, just make it how, like I just walk fast to the tool crib or I walk fast to the side of the machine. Like I just make my movements a little bit quicker and guess what? It gives me more energy. I'm having more fun. Like if you're looking at productivity and increasing productivity, it is never a boring day. Like you're never looking at the clock because now you're making a game of it. Like you're going to come in and you're going to actually make it happen. That's the mental side of it. You know, you don't have to have the most talent on like the mechanical side. You don't have to have an engineering mind and all these different things, but you need to have a strong mind and you need to set goals for yourself. You need to put the work in because when you step into CNC machine you have to have a mind that says, you know what? Here's a raw piece of material, and, and I'm going to make a crazy quality part. I'm going to hit every single tolerance, but, but I'm going to grab it in a way that I can rip this material apart as quick as possible. I'm going to time myself on, on profiling and pocking it. What is the quickest? Should I pre-drill? Should I helical? Like, what's the material? Like, how do I actually get in and out as quick as possible? You know, if, if I'm using a three flute tool or a two flute tool, what if I go to a four flute tool or a five or six, right? Does that make me a little bit faster? Like those that will actually look at every single crevice, every single thread, every single aspect of the part and try to figure out how to perfect the entire process of that part to make it as fast and efficient as possible while making and delivering a perfect part to spec, to the quality room and to the customer, those people will be successful. And you think it's just because they're mechanically inclined that they can actually make those incredible parts? I always talk about it like, there's two things that can happen at a customer. There's three things. First, your parts get delivered, they get unpackaged, and they basically go on to whatever assembly they're going on to. Boom, boom, boom. You never hear a thing. Second, your parts get unpackaged and inspected. There's flaws in them. They get rejected. You get a bunch of people standing around, like looking at your parts, who made these parts, talking about your brand and your workmanship and talking about how you failed. And they'll never tell you when you did good, but they will tell you when you did bad and you get those calls and say, hey, we're sending back a hundred parts. We're sending back a thousand parts because you failed the process. Three is what I always strive for. And I always tell my guys, like make jewelry. I know that you know, if there's a crowd of people around the box, I want these guys, I want these, these quality guys and these engineers to open that box, to look at the parts and say, you know what, this is absolutely beautiful. They didn't meet our expectations. They actually exceeded our expectations. Like the surface finishes are perfect. The threads are perfect. Like the parts are incredible. And the prices, the way they're quoting, how can they quote? at that price when everybody else is 30% higher. They, they're like, how can they actually do this? Because, but they don't understand your mind. Your mind is, is putting you into a place where you're like creating magic, where you're being efficient. You're, you're ripping material, you're murdering material, right? And then you're like relaxing that part and taking the pressure out of it and you're coming back and kissing that baby and kissing all those like tolerances and crazy finishes right into spec. And you do it so efficiently that you're actually making great money while other people are machining in a different way with a different capacity, you know? They're mentally on a different level. They're not loving their job. They're not making money. They're not doing all these different things. Well, when you're productive and you're killing it and you're making money and you're getting your bids and your quotes and your tables are straight and, and you're efficient in all things and you have a pep in your step, guess what? You have a great attitude. That attitude spreads. That's how culture is built. And then every day is about rising to greatness. Oh. Anyway, I just want to tell you guys, like, 
Don't discount the mental game. It doesn't have to be sports. Go into the shop and set goals for yourself. You gotta have a strong mind in this industry. Boom, and you will be successful. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Boom.